John Brew coming at you with a beer view. Today is Friday. It's minutes before five. I got a beautiful package in yesterday from Rich at Rich's World Beer Tour. I will have a link down there. You got if you're not already, you should be already subscribed to Rich. But if you're not, you need to be subscribed to Rich, and he's a great guy. And he said, get this one right away. So I let it settle for a day, and then here we go. Bam! It is the Hop Force Double IPA. It's from Bent Paddle Brewing out of Duluth, Minnesota. This is an Imperial IPA at 8.9% ABV in a can and 100 IBUs. Check that out. Malts include Two Row, Golden Promise, Caramalt, Carafoam, and Flaked Oats. And I loved Flaked Oats in an IPA, man. It just gives that soft edge. I love that. And the hops. A load of hops. They've got Eldorado, Simcoe, Equinox, Centennial, Mosaic, and Citra. How do you like that? Now, if you're not familiar with Equinox, uh, it brings in flavors like lemon, lime, papaya, uh, apple, green pepper, so kind of an herbal side, uh, kind of an interesting beer. It runs at uh, 13.6 to 15.6 alpha, so uh, a big old a big old hop. They say it's a little oily. It's interesting to work with, but uh, an interesting one for sure. I'm excited to try this. It looked like a good review from Rich. Go check out his review. I'll link that. We're going to get this can cracked open. All right, so here's the pour. You can see it. It's all coming out. Ah, is that not pretty? I got a full on two finger head on that. That's a beaut. Let's get the nose. Boom! This is what you need on a Friday. So I'm telling you, this has got some big old aromas coming off of it, and that's why I wanted to have it fresh. It's got such an interesting mix. I know the citra is there because I get that, uh, they call it cat piss, but I don't. But you get that little kick from the citra, if you know what I'm talking about. But you're getting these great citrus aromas. You get a big kick of lime. And you're getting a little bit of orange and tangerine on there, a hint of grapefruit, but a lot more on the lime side and the orange side is what I've got. But that little bit of cattiness, and I dig on that, that's okay. You get a bit of tropical. There are some hints on there of pineapple as well. Ooh, and kind of like a, now I got some sweet orange, almost a marmalade, and then I got just a hint of a mango on there. There's a hint of like a, a grassiness, kind of a hay grass on there, which that kind of throws me. That's interesting. It's there, and it's lightly bready, I would say, almost like a, a, a I don't know, not a cracker malt, but yeah, almost like a biscuit, but light breadiness. So it's a light caramel. It smells like it has a nice backbone to it for sure. Yeah, this just smells really nice. So I'm gonna just jump on in, cheers. I wanna talk about these flavors, but I do have to talk about the body. Now, I just sucked down some big old head, but the oats, the oats added in. It's a world of difference. So I get a little bit of this nice creaminess, this nice kind of full mouthfeel, and oats does that to a beer. I think that's just a beautiful thing, adding oats to an IPA. I dig on it. So it gives you a, a full mouthfeel, like not a medium, but it gives you a full mouthfeel. This is not thin tasting. We'll see how it is as it warms, but I tell you right, right now, that's just beautiful. And again, the cattiness from the citra is just jumping out. But man, I'm getting effects from mosaic. I can tell that's there big time. But between the Eldorado, the Simcoe, the Equinox, Centennial is really earthy. That's an interesting mix to throw that Centennial in there. Um, wow, it's just full of flavor. And pretty much all the things that I said on those are coming out. The malt, Bill, is just beautiful because that flaked oats, but you're getting a little bit of a honey taste. And I know there's no honey malt in this, but you do. It comes across a little bit like a, a bit of a honey on the backbone of that. Um, I think that Golden Promise is the kicker, and that's I love that malt. 
Uh, that's a great one. I've brewed with that myself. But that tropical kick. Oh, man, now I'm getting some resin pine. I had to jump off that. I'm sorry. I'm getting this a bit of dankness coming through. I'm getting some resin pine. Wow, big time. Big kick of it. It's beautiful. And in the, it's, it's almost coming out on the top now. The resin pine is taking over. But I'm getting this lovely orange marmalade and a bit of that lemon still. Still get a bit of that grassiness to it. Yeah, that citrus just really shines. Get maybe just a hint of a grapefruit as well. Yeah, but wow. Okay, I got to take a little time. Rich, thank you, man. This is a beautiful beer. We'll be right back. It's Fuck It Friday, boys. <laughs> so take a look at this, man. I'm going to swirl this. Wow, look at the lacing. Look how that head just built up beautifully. I mean, it's like a feels like a moderate carbonation, but look at that. That's just that's just gorgeous. What a gorgeous beer. I've never even heard of Bent Paddle, but man, this is a hell of a good deepa. You put so many hops in something, sometimes you can end up with really muddled flavors when it comes to the hops. And to a slight degree, it does that. Not particularly one shines. I mean, Citra, if you do enough of it, it's always going to show up. But wow, this is just a punch in the face of hops. But there's enough sweet malt base on this to balance out with the bitterness. But they've got so many of those other characteristics, those other flavors coming in with, with some tropical and some big citrus and varied citrus, etc. You know, there might even be a little melon I was getting on that as I was tasting it. And then that resin and the dankness. I mean, this is this is what you want to brew at home, let me tell you. Uh, this this can kick someone's butt, and it's 8.9%, so you got to love that. Well, I sure enjoyed that. Uh, anyway, beautiful beer. Let's, let's try to figure out how we're going to rate this one. In terms of style, at least for me, it's so funny because it's creamy, but it dries out semi-dry. Beautiful sweetness, big bitterness, but dank but fruity, I, wow, I, I, I just, I got to give it a pretty good rating. I think on a Deepa, I'm digging on it. It's a 94. It, it's just a 94. It's a hell of good beer, that's for sure. Um, overall, you know, I'm not as much of the bitterness guy. Well, I say that, but I, I do, I am. And, and uh, so... Yeah, my stouts and things, just on my personal preference, are higher, but I'm still liking this so much that I'm going to still give this... No, I'm going to give it 92. It's going to go 91, but 92, it really just is that good. This is it. It's out of Duluth, Minnesota from Bent Paddle Brewing. It is the Hop Force Double IPA. You got to get yourself some. This is Kevin at Clements Homebrew saying life's too short to drink cheap beer and I will see you in the next beer review.